Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a simple GMS project which publishes messages to an active MQ messaging server. As you can see, we're running uh, OpenSphere 2.50. So I'm going to create a simple uh, new project. Let's call it uh, Active MQ Simple Project. Of course, I would like to create the project directory. Then I'm adding a new uh, test suite. Let's call it uh, publishing test suite. And we can add a new uh, test case to our test suite. Uh, let's call it uh, JMS publishing test case, just to make it very explicit. Now we have a start state in here. This is the start state. Uh, in order to work with ActiveMQ, we need to define the JMS provider. Now, I've already predefined an ActiveMQ 5.6, but I'll add just another one to show you how to do it. So, we're going to choose Java libraries of this ActiveMQ um, server. Now, I've pre-installed it in program files in Apache ActiveMQ, and we have a jar file which is called ActiveMQ all.jar file. Now, when I add it, it just scans it, all the classes inside, and it detects the JNDI, Q, and Topic connection factories. And we also have to add to add an admin class in order to use it. This admin class is called ActiveMQ Helper and comes from OpenSphere. Now, let's give it a name. Let's call it ActiveMQ um, second, second Provider. And we click OK. Now, we're going to add to our test case a JMS message producer. And we're going to use the second provider, which I've just added, as you can see here. It will use JNDI by default and a connection factory name called Q Connection Factory. And the name of it is just JMS message producer. Let's say it will send messages. Uh, it will iterate 10 times with an interval of one second between each message. And let's define a message. We can define it here. Let's say it's a text message. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of properties of our JMS message, the default one. The body of the message would be, uh, for example, hello world. A very simple test case. Now, our JMS message producer is there. We simply have to link it from the start state to, to enable it to run. And to run our test case, we need to launch the server. So to launch the server, we're just going to go to ActiveMQ, launch the ActiveMQ um, server. So it started, as you can see, on port 8161. We go back to OpenSphere now, and we're going to simply um, run it. So as you see, it says uh, initialize and running. If we go to the console, we can see the messages that we just defined being sent for 10 times with an interval of one second from the timestamp and then it simply starts. 